full disclosure, totally freaked out by horses. Horses can kill you by kicking you, biting you, they can outrun you. Found out the other day that they can even swim, so you can't even hide on an island. We've been subjugating them for centuries. So, once the horses finally get wise, I think we're in trouble. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Armory. My daughter is three, which means obviously she loves unicorns. Today, Susan and I are gonna make her one. I found this log in my wood pile at home. Now some artists say that they don't create anything, they just uncover the shape that lives inside the material. That's total nonsense. I'm an engineer and we're gonna turn this into a unicorn. Now we're gonna do that with a two horsepower liquid cooled spindle from Pushcorp. Pushcorp does make a lot bigger spindles and compliance tooling as well, depending on your application. First, we need to figure out how to mount that onto Susan. So I'm probably gonna plasma cut some parts, try to weld them together, even though I don't know how to weld, and we'll see how this goes. All right, I've got the wood mounted in here and a three quarter inch flat router bit that I'm gonna to use to remove as much material as possible. Then I have a three eighths round, round tip router bit that I'm gonna be using to clean up the rest of it and make it actually look really nice. To do all the programming, master cam like usual and run it through some Python scripts. So you may notice that all the motions inside of master cam are four axes. Now, Susan can do simultaneous five axis motion pretty easily, but because there's cables running down the arm, there's a chance that those cables might get wound up. Also, because I don't have a full simulation of the arm before I run the program, I don't really have a way of knowing if it's gonna hit any joint limits or singularity. So just to avoid the whole issue, I'm just keeping the motion as four axis. This is turning out really well so far. This side looks awesome. This side, not so much. When I was programming it, I told it I had used a quarter inch tool, but when I bought my tool, I used a three quarter inch and I forgot to update the roughing pass on this side. Because of that, it took away too much material and the finishing pass couldn't make it look nice like this side. But just don't look at that side. Three days later. So I'm back in the home shop now. Can you believe that past Dave wanted to just leave this and hope no one noticed the back of it? That guy was an idiot. Kids these days, right? Well, I'm older and I'm wiser now. So I went back, I fixed my program, I recut the whole thing from scratch. Unfortunately, my log was just a little too small. So there's some spots where you can see the edge of the log, but I think that's gonna actually add a little character. So I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna use some sandpaper and a Dremel to clean the whole thing up.
As you can tell, this didn't really turn out to be child friendly. So for that, I'm just gonna hang it up in the shop. But luckily, the first head that I cut, the one that I screwed up, the kids got to paint that and they had a lot of fun doing it. As usual, all the code for this will be up on GitHub. The link will be down in the description. I've also been getting a lot of questions about the scripts that I use that convert NC code into robot code and a lot of general robotics questions. So what I'm gonna do is start creating a little video series uh, little five minute videos just outlining different features, different quirks, different nuances of robots. Uh, and that's also going to be going up on the YouTube channel. So make sure to subscribe so you get notified of those. Also, if you have any questions or things that you want answered about robots, make sure to put those down in the comments here and I'll try to make videos about them. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the little bell to get notified of those videos as well as other videos that I have going up. Robots are awesome. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.